Hello brothers and sisters today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and uh, we are going to be rejoicing in it and uh, being glad in it as we study his word and uh, in today's Bible study we are going to be uh, uh, just learning something uh, quite uh, important okay and uh, this is one very important question which baffles many minds and uh, many people always asking what is all earth creationism creationism okay <laughs> and it's a very confusing hard word this one what is the old earth creationism okay hope uh, you're seated in a comfortable seat and uh, you've got a pen a notebook and uh, your bible and uh, let's get started So, we understand that uh, the old earth creationism or OEC is an umbrella term which is used to describe biblical creationists who deny that the universe was created within the last 6,000 to 10,000 years over the course of the six consecutive 24 hour days. Rather, all the earth creationists believe that God created the universe and its inhabitants, including a literal Adam and Eve, over a much longer period of time than is allowed for by young earth creationists. And the list of notable Christian uh, leaders who are at least open to an old earth interpretation is a long one. And uh, that list continues to grow. And the list uh, includes men such as uh, Walter Kaiser, Norma, Norman Geisler, William Dembski, J.I. Parker, J.P. Morland, uh, Philip E. Johnson, and Chuck Colson, as well as the late uh, Francis Schaeffer and Old Testament scholar Gleason Acker. So, the old earth creationists. Uh, usually agree with the mainstream scientific estimate of the age of the universe, humanity and the earth itself, while at the same time rejecting the claims of modern evolutionary uh, theorists with uh, respect to biological evolution. And uh, old earth creationists and the young earth creationist brothers hold several important points in common, including... Number one, the literal creation of the universe out of nothing a finite time ago, that is creation ex nihilo. Number two is the literal creation of Adam out of the dust of the ground and Eve out of Adam's side as well as the historically historicity of the Genesis account. And number three is the rejection of the claim of Darwinists that a random mutation and natural selection can adequately account for the complexity of life. And number four, the rejection of the claim that God used the process of evolution to bring man to today's theistic evolution. And both old and uh, old earth and new earth creationism categorically rejects the theory of common ancestry. However, the old earth creationists differ with young earth creationists on the following. Number one, the age of the universe. The young earth creationists believe that uh, God created the universe about 6,000 to 10,000 years ago. And the old earth creationists place the creation event at uh, approximately 13.7 billion years ago, thus being more in line with the mainstream science at least on this point. And number two, the time of the creation of Adam and Eve. Young earth creation is placed uh, the creation of Adam no later than 10,000 years ago. And all the earth creationists are varied on this point with estimates ranging uh, somewhere between 30,000 and 70,000 years ago. And the biggest controversy between the two views of uh, creationism 
hinges on the meaning of the Hebrew word yom, which means day. Young earth creationists uh, insist that the meaning of the word yom uh, in the context of Genesis 1 and 2 is a 24-hour period of time. Old earth creationists uh, disagree and believe that the word yom is uh, being used to denote a much longer duration of time. And of course, uh, old earth creationists have uh, used numerous biblical arguments to defend their view, including the following. Number one, we have to understand that uh, they say that uh, yom is used elsewhere in the Bible where it's referring to a long period of time, particularly in uh, Psalms 90 verse 4, which says, For a thousand years in thy sight, but as yesterday when it passed, and as a watch in the night. So, we see also this one is later cited by the Apostle Peter in Second uh, Peter 3.8 But beloved, be not ignorant uh, of this one thing that one day with the Lord is like a thousand years and a thousand as uh, one day. So that's, that's, that's one of the points that uh, the old uh, earth creationists have used. Of course, Yom to mean, you know, it's a long period of time. And also another thing that they use is, uh, they say the seventh day is uh, thousands of years long. And uh, they quote Genesis 2 verse 2 to 3, where the Bible says, And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had uh, made, and uh, he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. And God blessed the seventh day and uh, sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work which uh, God had created and made. So, using this uh, seventh day uh, example, they state that God rested on the seventh day Yom, the seventh Yom. And uh, scripture teaches that we are suddenly still in the seventh day. Therefore, the word day could also be referring to a long period of time with a reference to days uh, one through six. And the third thing that they use is that uh, the word day, right, in uh, Genesis 1 to 2 is longer than 24 hours. Look at uh, Genesis 2 verse 4 where it reads, uh, these are the generations of the heavens and the, the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Mm -hmm. You see? In this verse, a day is referring to the first six days as a whole and uh, thus has more flexible meaning than merely 24 hour period. And the fourth thing uh the final thing that they always say is that uh, the sixth day is probably longer than 24 hours. And this one they quote uh, Genesis 2 verse 19, which says, And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fall of the air, and uh, brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. So this one, they use it to tell that Adam observed and then catalogued every living animal on the earth. At a face value, it does not appear that Adam could have completed such a monumental task in a mere 24-hour period. And to be sure, the issues dividing young and old earth creationists are both complex and significant. However, this issue should not uh, be made a test for orthodox, uh, orthodoxy. They are godly men and uh, women on both sides of this debate. And in the final analysis, biblical creationists, both young and old, even uh, the old earth and the young old uh, earth uh, creationists, they both have a great deal in common and uh, they should actually work together to defend the historical reliability of the Genesis account. This is the biggest thing, but uh, at least uh, I've been able to tell you much about what the old earth creationism uh, is all about. 
and uh, what this uh, old earth creationist believe in and uh, what they, they, they tend to talk about. And uh, that's the end of our today's Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. I'm hoping to see you in the next one. Thank mm-hmm. you.